Be empowered. Be strong. Take charge. Speak life. Live life abundantly. Get with it now. You are now entering the chat room. Health chat with Coach Gene, that is, where we debate, debunk, educate, empower, impart, and raise awareness on all things related to health, healing, and holistic well-being, body, mind, and spirit. Let's go. Hey, what's up, what's up? Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode here in the chat room. Health Chat with Coach Jean, that is, the podcast with the most is health awareness, education, empowerment, and inspiration on the planet. And guess who? Yes, it's your girl, Nurse Coach Jean Turner, the hostess with the most is. Yes, and I hope all of you are having an awesome week. Thank you so much for tuning in from wherever you are live streaming from here in the United States. And to our friends overseas, welcome, greetings, because I know for you, it is almost daytime where you are. But we thank you so much. And so, my friends, here we are. It's the first week of the eighth month of the year. Eight is the number of new beginnings. But your girl been celebrating my new now since the first of the year. Because if you remember back in January, I had shared the word of the year that God had given me. And that's what he gave me. And he actually gave it to me uh, days leading up to uh, the new year. My new now. And if you recall, I welcomed you all to adopt that as your word for the year as well. But every day that God bestows his grace and mercy upon us, it is a new beginning, a new opportunity, new grace to get it right, get it done, to start over. And so, look, this show this week, this episode is going to be a little different, my friends. I am flipping the script this week and doing something that I've never done before. Today, I am sitting on the opposite side of the mic, and my guest is going to be interviewing me. So, welcome to a Coach Jean special episode, an exclusive episode. And so, if you've been tuning in ever since, you know, Help Chat with Coach Jean, the podcast began, uh, which was a year ago this past June, You've probably been wondering, who is Coach Jean? Who is this chick, right? <laughs> what is a nurse coach? How does this retired officer become a, uh, a podcaster? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the deal? What's up with that? So after today, I hope you get a little bit more insight into Nurse Coach Jean and what I do and why I do what I do. And so, look, before we dive in, I'm gonna have, I have two things for you, because you know every week, week in, week out, I got to throw my disclaimers out there. So any information you hear on Health Chat with Coach Gene's podcast is for informational purposes only and is not meant to diagnose or treat any illness or disease. Always, always, always get with your medical team before you start, resume, or make any changes to your treatment plan as prescribed by your personal physician and medical team. And number two, if you have been tuning in to the podcast for any length of time, then you already know how we get down. So let's pray and get it popping. Most gracious Father, I thank you for this gift, this opportunity to share the gift of health, healing, and a holistic approach to wellness with these, your people. And may something shared during this week's episode bless every listener. I ask and pray that you will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all sin and all unrighteousness, creating us a clean heart, Father, and renew a right spirit within us. And may every listener who is currently live streaming, as well as those who will download this episode, Father God, I pray your shalom, your peace, 
wholeness, safety, completeness, sound mind and body, soul and spirit for them and their families from this day forward. And it's in your precious son's name. I do ask and pray these things. Amen. Amen. And amen. So look, yes, let's get it popping. All right. My guest joining me this week here in the chat room, some would think that a diagnosis of pituitary tumor and two brain surgeries would be enough to halt the dreams of any woman, but not my guest here this week in the chat room. The CEO of Then I Rise Enterprises, certified life coach, Tanya Blackwood, <clears throat> business strategist with over 25 years of corporate and entrepreneurial experience. She is a three-time best-selling author, a podcaster, retired Army Reserve veteran, and she is the recipient of a Paul uh, Home Fellowship from the Rotary Club. She is one call to empower others to reboot, rebuild, and reclaim their lives. And she is joining me here in the chat room this week for episode number 55, Ms. Tanya Blackwood. Tanya, are you in the virtual building, girlfriend? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you in the I'm house, not. yes! I am in the house. Yes! In the house, for sure. I'm house. so excited to be yes. here. Look, I'm yeah, excited to have you excited. here. Girl, you're brave. You you're brave. You're flipping the table. <laughs> the love. I, I, look, my audience know a sister be switching it up. I'll switch it up and flip the script real quick. But I want to try something a little different and um, give my audience a little bit of my background. You know, they tune in every week, especially overseas. I have a large overseas audience, right? And um, I wanted them to get to know me a little bit more. So I want to thank you for volunteering because I opened it up to a lot of folks. But you are the one that's like, you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> no <sweat. laughs> Yes. yes. I, love I, I, have it. Been I love it. I have been blessed to know you. And so the opportunity came. I said, why not? Why well, I not? thank you. I thank you so much for that. And so before we get started, is there anything else you want our listeners to know about you that I may have left out? Well, it, it sounds like you covered everything. I know I wanted to share that um, Arise and Shine, our, our podcast show, Stories of Triumph, has been on a break, but our new season starts in September. So I wanted everybody to keep an eye out. Uh, we'll be coming back, myself and my co-host, Benicia Wyatt. And, you know, we have some pretty major announcements coming. So you'll be hearing from us soon about some things that are coming down the pike. And also, I am so honored to be just recently named a board member uh, for the Believe in Your Dreams Network where, you know, we're changing oh. lives, one television show at a time, and I'm so excited yes. about that. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Well, and look at you. I look am, at you. I look know, and I'm, I just... Oh, my God, I did not know that. I know that. I did yes, know that. and top 40 media mogul. I'm a top 40 media boss. I, that just came out the other day, Monday. Well, that top I 40. know. I, you know, I, yes. I'm part of that as well. You know, I forgot to announce you that. Are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. For you tuning in. See, if my guest didn't bring it up, I would have forgot all about it. But, yes, my guest is Tanya Blackwood and I, Nurse Coach Jean, have been voted top. We came out on the list, the top 40 women media bosses. Yes, she has a podcast. Yes. And, you know, it's, um, the two women, the two pillars that 
you know, are leading the charge from uh, Women of Dignity magazine uh, as the CEO for Women of Dignity magazine and Nicole Peters, the uh, CEO for Believe in Your Dreams Network. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm really proud of that. Really ecstatic. Yes. Yes. I, I'm, I'm very um proud of both of them young women. I know Dr. Nicole personally, and so congratulations to them as well. So, Tanya, my audience has already been briefed, so whenever you're ready, girlfriend, you know, take it away, and I will let you know when we are about to wind down uh, this week's episode, but until then, you know, feel free, go ahead and jump right on in whenever you're ready. Okay, well, you know, I want to ask you a a mystical question first, because, you know, (laughs) it's, we have, we we both have our own shows, but we don't get to talk about ourselves that much, right? So, tell me who is this first coach, Jean, is she? So, look, you know, I, (laughs) I my background, I, yeah, I don't like to talk about myself personally. But, you know, um, and for my listeners, both here and abroad, I I have a lot of titles, a lot of credentials, right? Retired Army Nurse Corps officer, you know, Mm -hmm. registered nurse for over 34 years, you know, I am a board-certified holistic health nurse coach, uh, author, an international best-selling author now um, due to the book you and I have collaborated and co-authored. Yes. Cherry, um, and I've also written some other books, you know, that I self-published myself. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am a global speaker. I mean, all of that, right? To have a master's degree, that's uh-huh. all of that. But when you really get down to it, I'm just Jean. Like, I'm just a chick. I love to exercise, love everything, health and wellness and well-being. I'm the chick that like to just hang out and work out clothes, go work out, or be in a pair of dungarees and some high tops, a pair of sneakers with a good book, you know, love to travel, uh-huh. love my family, spend time. I'm just a round-the-way girl straight out of New York City, a round-the-way girl when everything is said and done. Uh-huh. But I will say this, on top of even all of that, I am God's girl. And the reason I say Amen. that is because what he has brought me through Ooh, I yes. do not look like what I went through, and I give him the glory. Yes, uh, and knowing knowing your story, I, I know you stand on the glory of God because your story is remarkable. And, and that, you know, that brings me to the name of your company, the name of your business, The Spirit of a Warrior. I mean, that, it's so you, but talk to us about how you came up with that name and and you know, what is your mission and vision for your company? And so that's a good question. The spirit of a warrior, this, look, <laughs> back in 2018 when I was going through those uh, chemotherapy treatments, one night the Lord woke me up and what he said jolted me, like literally jolted me out my sleep to where I sat straight up in bed, like real quick, like, and what he said yeah. to me was, the spirit of a warrior. And so at the time when I was going through those treatments, I was journaling my experience, right? Because as a nurse, I know journaling is just one therapy that's very therapeutic, right? And Uh so I was journaling and first the spirit of a warrior, he woke me up with that. He said the spirit of a warrior. I didn't know at the time it was going to be the name of my first self-help book. I didn't know it was going to be the name of the Spirit of a Warrior Life Enterprises LLC here in Atlanta. I didn't know it was going to Mm. become a whole brand. I had no idea that it was going to become ministry because for me, Tanya, I can't separate Spirit of a Warrior Life Enterprises from ministry. To me, it's all in the Mm -hmm. same. And so, yeah, yeah I, I, that's where it came from. Uh, God just woke, yeah. woke me up in my sleep one night in 2018. And I mean, said it so it made me jump out of my sleep and sit straight up in bed, girlfriend. 
Yeah, sometimes he'll do, you know, he'll do that. He'll shake you wake. He will shake you wake. And you swear wake. somebody, yeah, he'll shake you wake. You swear somebody touched you or something and you realize, you know, you were supposed to be up. And, you know, the spirit wow. of a warrior, when I think about just the phrase, it embodies how you come to the table. It embodies who you are, you know, um, your makeup, your personality. You're always on. You're always at the ready. And, you know, it, I struggle to think of a time when you may not have been that person because, to me, I, I just don't see it. But I know you walk through your testimony, walking through that, and you stand um, healed today. And, uh, you know, for that, we celebrate you. We really do because um, you're just an extraordinary person. But it's because of the habits and um, the habits, the consistency, and the faith that you walk in not only with, you know, changing how you eat and everything else, but your spirituality. What role did that have in your life when you, you were going through your health crisis? Oh, my God. Look, look, girlfriend, a huge role, a huge role, because let me yeah. say this. I was born and raised in church, right? Every time the church doors was open, Sundays, all day, we had dinner. We stayed for Sunday. So we was in there from Sunday school to night service on Sunday. If the doors was open during the week, mommy had us up in there, right? So I was born <laughs> and raised in church. Look, for real, for real, right? And I hope uh -huh. it's in the Pentecostal church is that. But, you know, I left home, married young, left home at 19, went overseas, you know, and, and, and life, you know, I strayed. I ain't going to lie. I strayed away. Uh -huh. Still believed in God, but I did everything that I was big and bad enough to do, everything that I couldn't do growing up, you know, because moms and them back then in the day yeah. did not play that. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. you know, um, I strayed and, you know, and then with the military, was got caught up, and you're a retired uh, uh, reservist, so you understand that. You can get so caught up in your career, uh -huh. caught up in in the in the lifestyle, caught up in making the next next rank, caught up in the next set of orders, yes. the next duty station, the next position, this, that, and the other, and you stray. Uh -huh. And so I have to admit that I was one of those that put my career and so many other things before God. So when that happened, when they told me, July 5th, 2018, at the spot they saw on my loved one's malignant, that just started my road back to God in the sense that putting him first, putting him back to being the head of my yeah. life. And if it was not for, if it was not for me going back to the roots, right? Not for me going back uh -huh. to them roots, not for me really seeking and searching the meaning of why me, Lord, why am I going, what did I do to deserve this and all of that, you know. Um, yeah, reading his word, praying his word, really, really, really getting back to where I should have been all those years but strayed. Um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have got through that. It was only by the grace of God. So the spirituality had played a huge, matter of fact, it was a spiritual journey. And that's what I even talk about in the book, The Spirit of a Warrior. It was really a spiritual journey for me. Um, yeah, but, you know, I, look, look, look what the process has done. It is God used that process, which Ooh. I thought was punishment, I'll admit. But he used the process to propel me into my destiny because I never thought Amen. in a million years I'd be doing the things that I'm doing now. Yeah, it, it, isn't that something because... People like to skip the process, Jean, all the time, you know. They they see the accolades. They see the spotlight. They even, you know, they see the awards and all that. And there they say for a minute, you know, I wish I was like that or I, I wish I was Jean, I, you know. But they don't know the journey you walk. They don't know, you know. They haven't seen that, nor do they, they want to walk that process. But everybody has their own process. 
And on the other side right. of your process came, you know, The Spirit of a Warrior, your book. And um, it, I think it also inspired your radio show and podcast, right? Health Chat with Coach Jean. It sure did, girlfriend. It sure did. And so um, huh. the podcast came first. So I started actually Health Chat with Coach G started as a 10-minute segment on someone else's show. They had uh, actually the Apostle Shalanda. Yeah, Apostle Shalanda William Bernard um, back in March of 2019 when I was still going through those treatments um, called me up one day and asked what what I'd be, you know, come on her show. She had a two-hour show and uh, do a mm-hmm. 10-minute segment, you know, on health and wellness. And so I said, yeah. You know, even going through the chemo store at the time, I said, yeah. And so it started as a 10-minute segment on her show in March of 2019. And it wasn't until uh, June of last year, the first Thursday of June 2020, last year, um, to where I started Health Chat with Coach G uh, podcast worldwide podcast here on Positive Power 21. So I've been podcasting now for over a year. Yes, it was a result of that health chat because as I was going through that suddenly health crisis, it was important to me, you know, to start sharing the gift of health and well-being with others. And so, and then this March, um, a a friend of mine, you know, gave my name to a station manager here, WIGO AM here in Atlanta, Atlanta's incredible radio station. I know this young lady, blah, blah, blah. She got this podcast. She's a nurse. She's a nurse coach. Her business is helping well. She might make a good show. And then I end up getting a call from my buddy now, Mr. J. Francis Springs, who is the marketing director here at WIGO AM here in Atlanta. And they set up a meeting with me. It was a good fit. And that's the history of the radio show. <laughs> wow. You know, so it's just things are so intentional. It seems almost, you know, ordained for things to happen a certain way. You know, it, it's extraordinary when you look at it, how everything flowed. And the titles and things that you have now and how you use them to benefit others, because I know I've heard this saying before, you know, um, that doctors make the worst patients. So what's the deal with nurses? Do they make even worse patients or, you know, <laughs> what was it like being on the other side of that? <laughs> Look, they, they also say that nurses make the worst patients as well. I don't think so, though. Oh, let me just speak to me, Coach G. Look, as a healthcare professional who found myself on the receiving end of healthcare, um, let me just say this. I didn't like, I, I, I tried my darndest not to let on that I was a nurse and how long I had been a registered nurse. I tried my hardest. But girlfriend, when I tell you, you'll be watching everything, okay? They come yeah. in, okay, Miss Turner, we need to, give you this IV, we need to do And I'm like, okay, what is that you giving me? Why are you giving me that? da 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 Oh, why, why you, uh, you know, they take my blood pressure, right? I'll never forget when I came out of, um, you know, because I had coded in an emergency room August, morning of August 8, 2019. I was out for like two weeks on ventilators and a coma, whatever. And when I came out of all of that, I, you know, I would watch their every move and even even though I was still in a weakened state, when they would come in wanting to do something or giving me medicine, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Or taking, okay, this is a good example. My blood pressure. It would be, I'd be like, <laughs> okay, so uh, they'll, they'll be like, oh, Miss Turner, your blood pressure is only 90 something over 50 something. We need to call a doctor and do this. I'm like, no, you don't, because that was my normal blood pressure before all of this ever happened to me because I was a runner, right? Active duty, doing uh-huh. PT, a runner, like marathon runner, half marathon runner. So on the day my blood pressure was 90-something over 50-something, that was a good day. I'm like, what you want to do? I don't need nothing. That's 
normal for me. So now we're making progress. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, yeah, like we're getting people, back to the know. normal. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. But so for me, it was like I was my own patient advocate, which I have, you know, tried to educate my patients on for over 34 years now. I, 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 I encourage my listeners here on the podcast and the radio, be on patient advocate. Know what's normal for you. So for me as a healthcare professional, yes, I was my own patient advocate. Um, I just, I felt though that, you know, healthcare professionals, if we end up on the other side of the bed, we know too much. And that's a good thing, but yet it can be scary as well. Because when I woke up out that coma and saw all these machines and all these monitors and all these IVs and all these tubes and that big monstrous machine on the end of my bed, which is called an ECMO, mm. I was like, oh, my God, something happened. I don't know what. But I know something happened, and it was not good. That's the first thought came to my head when I woke up. Oh, wow. I mean, <laughs> I've only woken up like that, um, but not not knowing because I knew I had brain surgery. But I was trying to get my, I guess, place myself, like, where am I? Is this heaven or am I okay? You know what I mean? Like what is going on? Right. But that's your orientation. That right. That's the word I was looking for, getting oriented again. But for you, you know, coming through that is so remarkable. Like you said, you were you were in a coma, you had coded, you know, I mean it you're a walking miracle, you know, you're a testament that God exists. Right. But I know you came out of that making changes with your life and, you know, taking better care of yourself. I know you said you were a runner, um, but talk mm -hmm. a little bit about, you know, the self-care practices that you put in place for you, because just knowing you outside of this, I know that you're adamant about certain things. There's like there's no negotiating on certain things in your life now. And, and then talk to us about holistic health and how that plays a role. What is it? Okay, so I'll start with the first question. Some of my self-care practices, um, number one, it is very important to me to begin my day at the feet of Jesus. I have to begin my day spending time with him. Uh, people that uh -huh. know that and know me well, uh, when I say you know, they morning, that I don't, they know not to call me in the mornings before a certain time, like usually before 11 or so, because um, they know that I'm in devotion. That's my devotion time, right? And sometimes uh -huh. it's short, and sometimes God just has takes the whole morning. It just depends. That's why I don't book. I try not to book any appointments before at least 11 a.m. or noon on some days, right? And so that is one because spiritual health is really the most important of them all. Um, secondly, I believe in my sleep, all right? When we are uh -huh. sleep, our cells regenerate, right? Our cells regenerate while we're asleep. That's when healing can take place down to the cellular level. So I believe in getting my seven to eight hours of sleep per night. And many people will call me, you know, look, Jean, come on, join us on this clubhouse, in this clubhouse room. Join us. I'm, 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 we're doing a show, you know, virtual. Because I, no, no, no. By a certain time, I'm in the bed. And even on the, the rare occasion, Tanya, that I'm up past a certain time working or whatever, Best believe I'm getting it on the other end. I'm getting it on the flip side, okay, which means mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep until about 9 that next morning or so. Yeah. That's the good mm -hmm. thing about being retired from the Army. Technically, I'm retired, right? <laughs> Even though my, That's girl, right. my girlfriend said, girl, you're not retired. You just retired. That's the time. I used to tell you all the time. <laughs> but <laughs> so, yes. My, my prayer life, my spirituality, my sleep, 
And yes, my, my eating habits, I mean, for years, even though I did not eat red meat and I did not eat pork for years, I still thought I could outrun and out-exercise a bad diet, right? I didn't eat hardly mm-hmm. no vegetables, girl. It was all protein, 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 you know. And so I dressed right, dressed up my diet to now. I'm mostly plant-based. I'm probably about 90, 95% plant-based. I will on occasion eat a piece of wild salmon, a wild shrimp, or a lobster tail, all is wild and not farm. But other than that, I am about 90, 95% plant-based. Um, these are just some of my self-care practices. Um, I've been slouching mm-hmm. a little bit on the exercise because um, I was trying to spend all my extra time studying for that board certification which I successfully passed this past Saturday, thank God. Congratulations. But now today I'm back on it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But my exercise, too, because I love exercise. I love the way it makes me feel. And now that I've gotten that exam behind me, today I got back on my exercise game. So, yeah, and then, too, I just love to laugh and have fun. We take life too serious sometimes. You have yeah. to learn how to balance. Balance is key. Yeah. So that's another part of my self-care practice. When I'm feeling tired, I don't feel like working that day. That's the beauty of working for yourself, being self-employed. I'm known to uh-huh. go to the park near my house and get on the swing and swing like I used to when I was a little girl. I'm known to just do some mindfulness meditation, just take a break, get into a good book or whatever. And I love to travel. Uh-huh. So, But these are self-care practices for me, just some of them. And then, I'm sorry, holistic health. You did ask me that. So I holistic did, health you basically, know, it's like, I was going to say, it's trending, right? Like, so, like, what is it? Okay. So, from Nurse Coach Jean Turner, holistic health is nothing more than the health, looking at the whole person, right? Because, number one, health is not just one-dimensional. Health is multidimensional, right? We are physical beings, emotional beings, psychological beings, spiritual beings, okay? We have relationships, right? So we are social beings, right? We live in our environment, in the world around us, right? So all of these things that make up the whole person, right, the wholeness, the oneness, everything that makes us whole, that is holistic health, looking at the whole person, not just their physical body, and incorporating all of that, right? When you look at their health, when you look at their treatment plan, when you look at their plan of care, it's all holistic health because I know it's trendy, right? And most people just think holistic health as it relates to complementary alternative modalities or complementary alternative therapies, right? Right? like the massage therapy and the herbal teas and the acupuncture and all right. that. Those are only right. therapies, though. Those are therapies that fall under holistic health. The holistic health in and of itself is taking a whole person approach to health and well-being. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good because, you know, you, you have to look at the whole thing. As, as a life coach, I use the wheel of life and the wheel of life covers, uh, and you probably already know this as a coach yourself, it covers all aspects of your life. You know, although I specialize in confidence and mindset, you've got to look at the finances. You've got to look at all of it. You know, you've got to look at your, um, like you said, have fun and relax. So the fun is in there. Your financial picture your health and wellness, all of it right. you have to be Right, well and even rounded. your profession. It does. Yes. That's Career where the balance different. comes in, Tanya. Yep. Career, romance, all of that's wrapped up in there. So, right. yeah, you and have to look at You the know, health. even, mm-hmm. that's right. And even now, when we look at the last year and a half of COVID-19, and the strain and the stress, the additional strain and stress that is placed on healthcare workers, for example, right? Many nurses mm-hmm. and doctors are burned out, like literally burned yeah. out in the hospital themselves. So their professional well-being 
is not where it needs to be. There's no balance there. So, yeah, you got to look at the whole person and everything that can affect their overall health and well-being. Yes. Relationships, career, you said it. All of that, family, the whole nine, you have to look at all of it because each piece will impact the other and you can't be well balanced. So when you talk about holistic health and looking at every aspect of your health, your body, all of it, spiritual, all of it, it it's so important. And um, for me, I, I have a lot. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for you, for you and what you're doing. I, I wanted to ask this. this um, you know, if somebody was going to seek out um, Nurse Coach Jean, you know, why would they come to you for coaching? What is your coaching um, services about? So... First and foremost, so the, uh, the one-on-one coaching, and I do group coaching, but first and foremost, number one, we're going to have a, a discussion, like a brief consultation, because I'm going to assess uh, what is your motivation for change right now, why now, right? And that's important because, um, you know, first of all, are you ready to change, you know? Where in the change process are you at? So first and foremost, we're going to have a brief 15-minute discussion so that I, you know, we can assess where you are in the change process. Are you even motivated to change? That's number one. Because, and what your motivation is, because without motivation, there's not going to be any change. So that's first and foremost. Then once I assess that and, you know, you, a person, let's say yourself, for instance, is ready to go forth in a, in coaching sessions with Nurse Coach G. Then after that, we're going to do what I call a holistic nursing assessment to where I'm going to break it down per domains or dimensions of wellness. So I'm going to assess and we're going to talk about your physical health, your psychological well-being, emotional well-being, spiritual well-being, professional well-being, financial well-being, your sexual health and well-being. I'm we're going to assess. I'm going to assess every one of those domains, and there's about nine above that we're going to walk through together. I'm going to assess, and then from there, um, I'm going to assess what your goals are. What is it that you want to accomplish? It could be one goal, two goals, three main goals, however many goals. But together, because it's a partnership, Tanya. It's not about yeah. how we do in Western medicine and hospitals and stuff. I'm the doctor, I'm the nurse, and you need to do this and you do this. No, 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 no. It's a partnership. Together, we set realistic goals based on the, the client. It will be based on you because you, number one, you know your health better than anyone else. You know your body better than anyone else. You know your finances, your environment, when what you you what resources are available to you better than anyone else. But I'm also assessing what resources you may need and connecting you to those as well. And then, then we go into the actual coaching session. You understand what okay. I'm saying? And so yeah. yeah, and it's a continuous process of evaluating where we are you know, celebrating the wins because I believe in celebrating wins. I don't care if I see you this week and your goal was to lose 10 pounds, but next week you came back and said, I only lost two. We celebrate them two pounds you lost. So, yeah, I believe in celebrating the small wins and everything. That is so good. And, I mean, my coach tells me all the time I have to um, remember to celebrate the victories. You know, because you, we tend to be so hard on ourselves. I think um, also, too, especially with the, the military folks, we, we're a little harder on ourselves because we're taskmasters. You know, that's how we brought, we're brought up. But um, you right. have to extend and celebrate the victories. That, that's so important. You're so right. I think, too, um, one of the greatest services, I would think, being a being engaged with you on the journey is that um, you would make an incredible accountability partner, you know? Oh, um, yeah. 
<laughs> and that's why a lot of people seek out uh, my services because they need that accountability partner, which reminds me that at the end of every coaching session, right, I'm sending a follow-up email about the goals that we co-created together. I'm sending some additional resources. And then in the course of the following week before we meet again, I'm touching bases, either a text or call or email to see how you're doing. So, yeah. And so when we meet up again for that next coaching session, it's like, okay, how are you doing? How's it going? What, what, what are we celebrating today? So, yeah, that's why a lot of people reach out because they need that accountability partner. Yeah, I, I truly appreciate having you in my life, but that's, you know, one of the roles that you play, even if it's just for being. Folks, I got to tell you, she's like an amazing girlfriend, but she'll slide that coach up in there. And I know I do it to my girlfriends, too. She'll slide that coach <laughs> right up in there. And so, uh, you know, she is all the way real and all the way sister and all the way coach. So depending on, you know, which way she's leaning on the wall is going to be, you know, what you need to hear at that given moment. And she's incredible with that. Um, You know, I'm blessed to have so many um, sisters in my life. The the list is small, but in my mind, it's a huge, it's a huge number because I know all of you guys, you know, were placed by the father and that you're one of them you know, and um, Dr. Nicole Peters, you know, and we both have to give a shout out to Renee Huffman. I don't think we mentioned her name. That's the publisher for uh, Women of Dignity. Oh, but for the top four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. Yeah. Kudos to her, yes. Yeah, women that push other women to be better, healthy, and just take care of themselves, you know, and I, I just, you know, I salute you, sis, because you're you're about your business, but it's done on God's footing, and and it's done in love. Even when you're being tough, you do it in love. But, <laughs> but tell me this. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and laugh, because you probably remember. You want to know why I'm me. laughing? Why? Jesus, why? You want to know why I'm laughing? Because yes, I do. Served in the army. My soldiers have always said that. They're like, ma'am, I don't know how to take you New Yorkers because one minute you are <laughs> giving on my case and then the next minute you giving me a hug. Like, what's up with that? Yes. But it is all in love. Yeah, that is all in love. And I want to thank you we, for recognizing we, that. Yes, sis. That's, I mean, that's how we're brought up in the concrete jungle. That's just how we, that's how we are. You know, and yeah. um, we're we're hugging you, but we're, we're we're helping and hugging at the same time. But I want you to share exactly. with the folks, um, you know, if you could leave them with one thought uh, that's from Jean's heart. You know, what would you what would you want them to walk away with? The thing I'd want them to walk away with, Tanya, and to you, our listening audience, please, please. I listen very intently to what I'm about to say. Number one, we know that God is the healer. Yeah. But I want to say, even with that, that the way, how we care for our bodies, how we care for our mind, our soul, our spirit, man, in times of wellness will affect, and it does affect, your prognosis and recovery should you find yourself in a suddenly health care crisis like I did. You can leave your house mm-hmm. today and get into a serious car accident and end up in the ICU. Will your current state of health, will your current state of health help you in your prognosis and recovery or will it cause further issues? or prevent mm-hmm. you to prevent you from recovering, or will it delay your recovery? What is it? God gives us choice, right? He said, choose you this day who you will serve. Choose this day life or death. He's given us the gift of choice. So choose wisely, yeah. my friend, and take care of yourself. Practice self-care. Do what you know to do, and ask and pray 
uh, and ask God to give you the wisdom you need for your health and healing and wholeness, and then allow, have the faith to allow God to do what he does best. So, Tanya, we are at the end. I, I tell you, time flies when you're having fun. But I want yes, to tell you, does. thank you so much. It does. This and is, real quickly, in good. one minute or less, Yes, one minute or less, if you will. Go ahead and share with our listeners your website and how they can reach out to you because you got a lot of dope things going on. Oh, wow. Well, you most definitely can reach me at uh, tanyablackwood.com. And you can, my, um, my name on Facebook and on IG is Tanya Blackwood. That's T O N I A. Blackwood, and also uh, the same as IG, and you can also catch me as Then I Rise. So just look me up. We've got a lot of great stuff going on and more to come. We're going to end the year real, real strong. So I hope to see you. All right. You know I'm going to be checking you out. You and uh my girl, Benicia, I thought y'all was coming back this month, but I see y'all took it all the way to the fall. I don't blame you, though, because yeah. I know you have some other things you got going on. Did you start your next book yet? I know you had a project you were supposed to have been working on during this hiatus. Yes, I have. I, I have three working documents, so uh, the goal is still to get it out the chute before the end of the year. So, yes, I'm Wonderful. working on a devotional, and I'm real excited Wonderful. about completing that. Then I have something else in the shoot. We're going to be announcing that in a couple of weeks. Wonderful. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And uh, yeah. look, again, thank you so much. My sincere thanks and appreciation to you for thank taking you. time out of your busy schedule. Oh, you are so welcome. We got to do this again. I would like to have you on in a future episode when we talk about some, um, we talk about neurological health and well-being and do an episode on that because you have an awesome testimony as well. Um, And so thank you so much, my sister. I will be in touch. And so look, to you, our listening audience who are live streaming and those who catch the replay, Thank you so much. Thank you for downloading Health Chat with Coach Gene. Thank you for listening in week in and week out. I love y'all so much. A special thanks to my producer, the Batman of Charm City himself, Mr. Jerry Royce Live. And so listen, until next time, if God says the same, I wish you great peace and health. God bless you all and good night. Thank you for joining us for another episode here in the chat room. Help chat with Coach Jean, that is. Until next time, if God says the same, I pray peace, health, love, and well-being for you and your family. God bless you. You are listening to Jerry Royce.